uh, learning about our next guest. In fact, very interesting. Okay, so we're talking about four and five year olds. That's a target audience here. Some kids are already learning how to think like engineers at that early age. Researchers with the Florida Institute of Education at UNF are teaching preschool children to program and problem solve using robots. Joining me now are researchers Dr. Bronwyn Mc, um, McLemar and Dr. Deborah. Carlson, thank you very much for being here. Do appreciate it. This is so interesting because you know you hear robot and you think it's going to be this big with all of these mechanical arms. But we have to remember these are just four and five year olds. So explain to us, if you will, a little bit about how this idea came about and why target four and five year olds. With job, the job market nowadays requires so much science and engineering so that we need to start the children very young, and these are skills that we know that our children have. So Debbie's showing you that we have selected a robot called Kibo. Okay, so Debbie, how does it work? So in order for Kibo to work, we have to program. And that's what we're teaching kids to do. And we program by doing a beginning, a middle, and an end. And so with these the little programs. kids, we use the blocks mm -hmm. so that they are physically building with blocks, can build a program. And because these are small, we have the matching cards that makes it easier to scan. So well, they and it's build real hands on for them, which is nice also. Right. So okay. we're gonna we're gonna track if this is right, this program. So the kids will will turn it on after they have programmed, which means they have to scan it. Ah, okay. okay. So we don't have to use a computer screen. This this is a built in scanner so that the kids can get on the floor, it's hands on, therefore it's developmentally appropriate for four year olds. And, so and, and the importance of course is is that they know the order from left to right. Right. So we sing songs. Okay. Top to bottom, left and right, left and right. <laughs> right. Here we go. This is Kibo in action. He's going forward. He's going to oh, shake. I see. He's going to do a red light. Yep. He's going to beep. Now he's going to have a blue light. He's spinning. And that's the end of his program. To keep the kids' interest, he also has art platforms so we can decorate Kibo. And in honor of the graduation of pre-K going on right now, that's what we did. So the kids can decorate and tell their own personal stories using Kibo. And I can see we have some video here then of both of you uh, bringing this research project. Where, where have you been able to help then students and, and really give them uh, first hand, uh, hands on, quite frankly, of STEM? This is All Saints. Um, so this is the, a class that I'm teaching with them. And as you can see, uh, one of the students is learning to program. And then they will scan it and then they will check the program against what Kibo does. And as you can see, we're doing estimating. So what we're doing is we're reinforcing the curriculum that's already being taught in the school. And you see the reaction of the children, too. I mean, explain that a little bit. What kind of feedback they are you getting? I'm it. sure not just from them, but also the teachers liking what they see. Absolutely. The children love it. And right now, thanks to a generous donation from Tony Crawford, we're in three schools, All Saints, All About Kids, and Just for Kids, where we've been able to put Kibos in each of their classrooms. Plus, we go and work twice a week with them. So the children are learning amazing things. Okay, so assuming that there are parents or maybe school administrators who are watching this morning, how do you get this kind of program then into the classroom? Well, we're it doing is, research yeah. on it right now. So we're developing the curriculum. But it's also, it's commercially available at Kinder Lab. And then it's, it was developed at uh, DevTech at Tufts University. So anyone can go online onto Amazon and they can look up Kibo and they can order it. And, and quickly, Bronwyn, how will you use this research now? We're going to use it as developing not only a curriculum to put in the schools for teaching programming, but also we work with the state and are trying to get some standards put in place where four-year-old children learn these necessary programming skills. It's so skills. important. I say this all the time. It's just our experience in elementary school with both of my children. There's not enough STEM, and it's an exactly. important thing to, to we start. We want to start teaching. young. You have to, and or else they don't fun. pick it up. You're absolutely right. Thank you, ladies, for being Thank here. Thank you. Do appreciate. And, of course, you can learn more about Florida Institute of Education by going to unf.edu slash FIE, and we'll post that with this interview later this morning on the Morning Show page of newsforjax.com.